Opening Prayer Alleluia! Christ is risen! He is risen indeed! Alleluia! How precious is your steadfast love, O God! All people may take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house, and you give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Amen. A reading from Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verses 2 to 4. Suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Welcome to the 14th station on the Way of Light. This is the last day of the Way of Light in preparation for the Feast of Pentecost. So you followed 14 days of prayer and preparation and we end today with the reading from Acts, Acts 2 verses 2 to 4, where we hear of the coming of of the gift of the Holy Spirit. The reflection point today are that you will go to your quiet place and enter into prayer and in prayer accept the gift of the Holy Spirit and allow the awesome vision of this passage to shape your understanding of the power of the Spirit of God. And the second reflection point is to take faith that the Holy Spirit goes before all works of God, heralding and preparing the coming of the kingdom. And thus the Holy Spirit goes before you wherever you are called to go and spread the word of the kingdom. So as you Go to your quiet place today and enter into this special and last time of prayer on the way of light. Go with an attitude of acceptance of the gift of the Holy Spirit. And just go with a very, very, very open mind as to how our Lord will come and speak to you in prayer. And if you take from this passage, Acts 2, verses 2 to 4, there are three things which happen in this passage. And they are a sound, a sight, and strange speech. And they're actually supernatural things, because we learn that there came a noise like a strong driving wind. So the sound wasn't exactly a, a strong driving wind. Um, and there appeared to them tongues of fire. It looked like tongues of fire. And then they spoke in strange and different languages. So the Holy Spirit will and does come to us, but comes quite an awesome way, perhaps sometimes so awesome that we fail to see that. So go with great openness today and great expectation because God sends the Holy Spirit to us and keeps sending the Holy Spirit. So go with that anticipation and expectation that the Holy Spirit will come. And the, the gift of the time of these 14 ref days of reflection is in fact a gift from the Holy Spirit to us to have that time, to have that space. And end your prayer today, your reflection, with 
gratitude and thankfulness to our Lord for this time that we have had together to pray, to reflect, to wait upon the Lord. Amen. And now we come to our concluding prayer. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. Amen. And a final thought for the final day. I hope you've enjoyed these 14 reflections of the way of light and that they have given you pause for thought and a joy has come out of that thought. Lord, you have entered and do ever enter into our common life. Increase in us the grace to laugh generously with others and to be ready to laugh at ourselves. Save us from all false piety, from self-pity, from being dull and ponderous. Give to us your good gifts of gaiety, kindliness and good humour. We ask it for your name's sake. Amen. <laughs>